The latest version of the Xbox Beta app is here, ahead of the new Series S and Series X consoles. Here's how to use it to play Xbox One games on your Android smartphone or tablet. Got an Android device and want to play Xbox One remotely? Well, it's your lucky day because the new Xbox Beta app includes remote play that works over Wi-Fi or a mobile data connection. The Xbox Beta app lets you stream all of the games you have downloaded and installed on whichever Xbox One the app is connected to, whereas xCloud, Microsoft's mobile streaming service, will only work with Xbox Game Pass games. Isn't that confusing, Ben? Uh, not really, because you probably know what games you have actually bought versus the ones you play via Game Pass. Anyway, it's time to help you set up the Xbox Beta app and explain the remote streaming limitations. This is easy. Download the Xbox Beta app, then install it. Link in the description. Switch on your Xbox One while you wait and ensure it's connected to some sort of internet connection. When the app is ready, run it. You will then have to sign into your Microsoft account you use to sign into your Xbox One. Then press the fourth tab on the right located between search and your profile. Here you will see your Xbox One console. Press connect. The first time you do this will result in a pop-up coming up on your Xbox One. Hit enable and that will let you remotely connect whenever you want. If you have another Xbox One console you want to add, you can swipe right and add it here. Same process applies. If all went to plan, you should now see your Xbox One dashboard on your Android phone. If not, ensure your console and smartphone or tablet are connected to the internet. That can be a Wi-Fi or data connection, as previously mentioned. Now that the Xbox Beta app is running on the small screen, it's time to grab your wireless Xbox One controller, or whatever you use, and then connect it to your Android phone. To do this, press the wireless connection button on your controller on top and enable Bluetooth on your smartphone. Eventually, you should see the Xbox One wireless controller listed in your possible Bluetooth connections list. You may need to add a new device if not. You'll know it has worked when you can now see your controller listed as the current Bluetooth connection. Now get the Xbox Beta app going and in theory, you should now be able to control what you see on screen. If anything failed, the app will say you need to connect a controller. And that's it. All your installed Xbox One games can now be streamed remotely on whatever Android device will run the app, basically. Enjoy. Now it's time to answer some questions you may be pondering. Anything installed on your hard drive will work because your smartphone or tablet is remotely connected to it using the app. You can also install games remotely that you already own digitally and then run them. Obviously changing the disk in the disk drive cannot be done remotely unless you train your cat to or something. So whatever is in there is what you can play. Interestingly, I was able to access the Game Pass games and install Hotshot Racing using my OnePlus 6T Android smartphone. So at the moment, you don't even necessarily need to use xCloud. Yeah, this is the sort of thing that would have got you burned at the stake not so long ago, such as the level of witchcraft. In fact, you can connect to your Xbox One even when it's off, so it doesn't ever need to be on, just plugged in. Yes, it needs electricity because your Xbox One needs internet, or the app will never see it. So a stable connection to your Xbox One, preferably wired straight to the router or via a powerline adapter, and a stable mobile Wi-Fi or data connection are preferable. Just watch out for data usage. I did find that I was unable to connect to the console after disconnecting the power, then reconnecting without having to turn the Xbox One off. But this isn't something you would do remotely, because it's physically impossible, unless there was a power cut. Amazon Prime Video and Netflix wouldn't run, which is hardly surprising. The app complained it won't run them while streaming. You also cannot open the store to buy a game. However, BBC iPlayer and Now TV were fine, and so was Internet Explorer, although why you would want to type a URL with a controller escapes me. The palaver surrounding Apple and its need to stop the xCloud app from working is still a thing, but remote PS4 Play works on iPhone and iPad, so why not the Xbox Beta app? Maybe then we'll see it on the App Store, but right now nothing has been confirmed. When connected to the Wi-Fi on both devices, the Xbox Beta app was largely great. 
Virtually no lag and strangely enjoyable, although how long the novelty factor lasts will depend on you. Some games will work better than others on a small screen. I found it hard to read the text in SnowRunner, for example, but if you have a tablet or reading matters little, all is well. Things get less impressive when using a data connection as my O2 network coverage is good, but shared with a lot of people in the area. At this point, I saw the quality of the graphics downgraded noticeably and inputs on the controller took a while to show up in the game. That's not the best thing in a racing game or first person shooter. As with any service that needs a data connection, you are at the mercy of connection speed and quality. With 5G or fast 4G areas, the experience will probably be better than mine was and will make the point of remote streaming much more useful. Even without, I can see it might be nice to play Xbox One around the house while someone else uses the TV your console is usually connected to. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, and ask any questions you may have regarding Xbox stuff. Lots of next-gen console videos on the way. Take care, bye. Bye. <laughs>